What's going on? We back, good fella sports TV. Y'all know what the business is. One time for the one time we grinding. And talking about uh, reports, and it sounded like uh heard it a day or two ago from somebody, and I finally uh got a concrete source that's saying Canelo Alvarez will come back down to middleweight. He just fighting that super middleweight. Um, you know, just so you want to kill himself to make 160 for his next fight for a tune up fight. So, you know, um, it's been reports that Danny Jacobs and Golovkin is supposed to be fighting May 5th. I believe that would be on the undercard of a Canelo, the zone card. And also, Canelo's fight with Rocky Fielding will be streamed free on the zone. So, you could download the zone, even if you use a 30 day free trial, and watch Canelo Alvarez versus Rocky Fielding card for free. And uh, David Lemieux and Torian Johnson, uh, Toriano Johnson is on that undercard. And rumored also to be on that undercard is um, Arthur Baterbia Arthur and Joe Smith Jr. So just to give you an idea of what, what that card might, might look like. But you got four middleweights. Andrade apparently has been ruled out in my opinion because I don't know how for sure, but Eddie Hearn said they want to get him back active before they put him in there with some elite middleweights. Just just telling you that I wasn't lying. He looked like bullshit, dog crap, when he was fighting uh, Walter K. Okay? You know, he looked like crap. And Eddie Hearn and everybody else knew it. It wasn't a great performance. But we got three middleweights um, that, you know, that want to fight Canelo Alvarez. All right? Uh, which one deserves it the most? Well, obviously, we can rule out Gennady Golovkin, Okay? In my opinion, I don't think that fight was uh, was a robbery. I legit thought he lost to Canelo Alvarez. He had two shots already. Um, you know, honestly, I think he should move on. You know what I'm saying? You know, if he had won, of course, then Canelo would have won a rubber match immediately. But he didn't win. He didn't do what he said out he was supposed to do. He didn't kill Canelo. And it's shown, I'm telling you, with a, a dude worth $365 million to a network, and if you don't knock him out, you're not going to win. And at this point, Canelo Alvarez cannot knock out Canelo Alvarez, and like I said, he should go move up and, and, and try to get a title at 168, okay? Stop chasing dreams. You chase the Canelo, I'm saying you chase, chasing the payday. You got two paydays, man. I don't want to see a third fight. I'm not interested in them fighting a third time um, at all. You drop, you 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 got stripped of one of your belts, then you lost the rest of your belts to him. Along, like last year, a couple years ago, you could have fought Billy Joe Saunders being undisputed and being a, a middleweight legend. You didn't. You sold your belts. You sold your soul. You sold yourself to Oscar De La Hoya Canelo. Now, shame, shame on you. You should just move up and, and try something different. Just straight up. Move up. Try something different. Okay? You know, try something different, man. Try to try to get a, a title at super middleweight or something like that, all right? Because obviously you don't really you don't really feel like you can really go back up the ranks, which you should have to. You, you took a draw to Canelo. You took a loss to Canelo. So you should have to Build your way back up through the ranks. You should have to fight a Jamar Charlo or Danny Jacobs. Turn the Canelo shot. Seriously. You know what I'm saying? You did all that popping off. You was going to knock Canelo wild and, and, and this and that. And you went in there and you didn't do it in two fights. So you had your opportunity. Either move up or build yourself back up. Uh, you're 36 years old. Soon to be 37, I believe. The shit's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? He should fight like a Danny Jacobs or Charlo. Then to prove that he deserved a Canelo fight. Seriously, you know, ain't nothing given. You know, he ain't this big, super, you know, super uh, star, uh, lineal star like they're trying to make him seem. You know, he ain't that. You know, a large amount of population don't even know who he is. He done two pay-per-views without Canelo, under 200,000 pay-per-view buys. At 36, 35, 34 years old, whatever he was. So, in my opinion, you know, you got to earn your way back up. WC did the right thing. You should have to fight Jamal Charlo to get a Canelo fight. You didn't want to do that. You wouldn't try to go around and go to the zone. So you're going to fight him on the zone. He worth $365 million. And you think you're going to get a decision on the zone when you can even get a decision on HBO at 36 years old? Even if you beat, even if you, you know, hypothetically, even if you beat Canelo, what, what, I mean, what, what value do you have to the zone? None. You're th- almost 40 years old. You're not Bernard Hopkins. You're not Mayweather. You're not Pacquiao. You're not going to be immortal. You take too much punishment. So you didn't have no use for you, for you, so you won't win. Then you go to Danny Jacobs. He finally got his first world title at, what, 31 years old. Congratulations. This has been a long time coming. You got the title. 
Would I love to see a Canelo versus Danny Jacobs fight? Absolutely. I will take that fight. It's a unification bout. It's what? WBC, Super WBA on the line. You know, the WBO title is held by Demetrius Andrade. So it's one step closer to the undisputed. But, you know, Danny Jacobs is going to sell his belt back to Canelo. Because Danny Jacobs is going to have to knock Canelo Alvarez out to win. And Danny Jacobs is clearly capable of doing that. You know, people act like Danny Jacobs can't get in there and outbox Canelo. Yeah, he could. He ain't the best fluent fighter. You know, he has to set, he has to set up the punch. He has to sit down and punch. His, his feet ain't that good. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's good enough. You know what I'm saying? But I, I thought I think he's more he's best coming forward. You know, I think he's best being aggressive. I think him that doing defensive circles, whatever Andre Rosier call it, boxing, he is a little stiff. You know what I'm saying? He would be best pressing pressing Canelo Alvarez, using his jab, keeping him at the end of his punches, and and keeping him at distance and, and like I said, you you know, getting leverage on his punches at the end of him. And um, that's what I think he would be best at, fighting Canelo. You know what I'm saying? Um, people act like Canelo is this dominant, power-punching, mean machine. He not. He not. He only knock out older guys or shot-worn guys like Angulo, Kirkland, or blown-up welterweights like Josito Lopez um, or Amir Khan. He didn't KO Cotto. He didn't KO Shane Mosley. He didn't KO Mayweather. He didn't KO Lara. Okay, didn't KO Golovkin. He couldn't KO a dead Chavez Jr. So the power is something that Danny Jacobs shouldn't even be worried about, in my opinion. He can't punch. He's an okay puncher at middleweight. He's probably your average or just below your average middleweight puncher. Danny Jacobs should get in there and, and, and dog walk Canelo Alvarez. Height, reach, strength, power. But Danny Jacobs is gun shy. Danny Jacobs... He's been knocked out before, and he fights like that. Well, Peter Quillen, that's the type of fight he's going to need to fight with Canelo Alvarez. He's going to need to go in there, and, and, and but keep more distance on him and, and just press Canelo Alvarez and, and, and just beat his face in and stop him. That's what he's going to need to do. Canelo Alvarez ain't this great out boxer. They're making him seem to be. He's good, but he ain't, gonna sh- he ain't never shut nobody out of relevant, of, of note. He ain't never went out there and outboxed somebody for 12 rounds. Never. Never. No, none of the guys he beat. All, every big fight he had has been close. And people, oh, you think Benny Jacobson out boxing the Alvarez? Fuck yeah. <laughs> this dude ain't never watched nobody of of, rele- of of note. He didn't get in there and watch Austin Trout. He didn't get in there and watch Lara. He didn't get in there and watch watch, watch nobody. Mayweather, Shane Mosley. He watched Shane Mosley, but he didn't knock him out. He didn't watch Cotto. He didn't watch Golovkin. But Danny Jacobs got to go for the knockout. I would take a Danny Jacobs over Canelo Alvarez, Canelo Alvarez fight over the two. It's unification bout. Unification trust mandatory. It's at the WBC uh, discretion. It's up to them. I think it's a, I think it's a really, really good fight. It's a great fight. You get to Jamal Charlo. He's the mandatory. He's been waiting. The guy that he beat to be the mandatory, uh, become uh, the beat to be the man, the number one guy, Corey Sebastian Highland, had been the mandatory for two or three years for the belt. All right, so the, I don't know the last time um, the middleweight WC uh, title holder fought a mandatory because Martinez didn't fight his mandatory. Cotto wasn't his mandatory. Cotto never fought his mandatory. I don't believe he did. He ended up fighting Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez didn't fight his mandatory. He gave up the belt to Gennady Golovkin. Gennady Golovkin didn't fight his mandatory. He lost his belt. He drew with Canelo and gave up his belt to to Canelo the second time. Well, got beat. Canelo took his belt. So, in all things in fairness, and I think everybody can agree in the comment section, uh, the WC needs to force Canelo to fight a mandatory because it hasn't happened in a while for whoever held the WBC world title. So he needs to fight a mandatory. Same thing with Adonis Donna Stevenson. Four or five years without fighting a mandatory, it's time to fight a mandatory for 
Canelo Alvarez. They forced Stevenson to fight Alexander Gufik December 1st on regular Showtime right before Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder card, pay-per-view card kicks off, excuse me. So just off that merit alone, it's time to fight a mandatory. For whoever held the WC title. You know, so obviously after Canelo does what he does December 15th, and after if Charlo wins December 22nd over Willie Monroe, Jamal Charlo, just just based off, you know, fairness of boxing, you know, the WC, they could have chose anybody to rank high because Jamal Charlo didn't hold a title at 154. He held the IBF. And Jamal Charlo accepted the interim title by fighting Hugo Centennial Jr. Thus, he was taking out the IBF and the WBO titles, which he could have been mandated to fight Demetrius Andra or Billy Joe Saunders. Before Demetrius Andra, he could have been mandated to fight Dervichenko. Before Danny Jacobs was, was uh, before Danny Jacobs, I think he ranked higher than IBF. So, you know, so he sacrificed two other title shots for the green belt, which is people see as the most prestigious belt. So just off that alone, before we even get technical and talk about the stylistic clashes of the fight, he deserved that mandatory shot. He does. But as far as the stylistic wise, it's a good fight. But it's it's a lot of it's a lot of it's a lot of business that has to be done. They want to shortchange Charlo. They talking about offering him a twenty five percent, eighty was it seventy five twenty five percent just to fight Danny Jacobs. From what I'm hearing, um, you know <clears throat> they talking about you know it's probably gonna be lower to fight Canelo Alvarez. So thus far, they just gonna go to a purse bid, and whoever got the deepest pockets is gonna take the belt. So in all in in all honesty, in reality, that fight ain't gonna happen unless Jamal Charlo gets a deal with his own. But it's the reason why Canelo Alvarez went to win fifty five when the Charlo twins Andre was at fifty four, and when Andre got stripped of W. Bell, Liam Smith picked it up. He went back down and fought for it. They know they know they don't want that. Jamal Charlo would probably be the most likely guy in here to knock out uh, Canelo Alvarez. Because of his mindset. He's probably the most likely one to get knocked out by Canelo Alvarez. Because he will sell out. He will commit. There's no wiggle in this room. Golovkin already showed his wiggle. He got some finesse. He was brought up to be all power. Danny Jacobs showed some wiggle in his room. So he got finesse. Jamal Charlo got the nasty, the dog in him. He get in there and try to blitz Canelo Alvarez. He got the height. He got the length. He got the power. He got the speed. He's been a world title holder before. It's a good fight. But people don't want that fight because they see Jamal Charlo as the absolute most threatening guy here, including Demetrius Andrade. So they're going to advocate not to have that fight. And if it go to purse bid and, and Jamal Charlo win and Canelo drop the belt, or if it go to purse bid, Canelo win, and Jamal Charlo got to go to the zone, he signs a deal with the zone, or he just don't want the belt no more and don't want to go over there. You know, People be happy as long as that fight don't happen. We're in a day and age of boxing fans not wanting to see the best fights happen um, for the culture. They just want to. They just want to be able to say he ain't fought nobody, he ain't did nothing, rather than seeing them fight somebody, being an advocate to see the best fight the best, and some of these this young talent prove they self, like Errol Spence, Charlos, Gary Russell, you know, you know, Javante Tank Davis, you know, other fighters. They just want to say, oh, he ain't did nothing. They don't want to see them succeed. They don't want to eat them word. They don't want to have to come up with another excuse like it was versus Andre Ward and Kovalev. They don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? But I think just based on what we talked about, Jamal Charlo, period. Period. He waited. That's a, they, they, WC need to fight a mandatory, period. That's the fight I want to see the most. He deserves a title shot. And if you go in there and lose, well, at least he got a shot. Congratulations to Canelo Alvarez. But you know, if you fight him on his own, you got to go over there and get a knockout. No two ways. This goes for all of them. You have to knock out a $365 million man. And if you ain't willing to walk through fire, if you ain't willing to press the action, if you ain't willing to put your balls in the line and your chin on the line to go in there and knock that man out, then you don't even deserve to take the fight. If you're going to go in there and try to outbox him and win a decision, you don't deserve to fight. You need to go in there and knock him out. It's a good fellow sports TV. Uh, you can make a donation. That link's in the description. You can uh, do a video request. We're on Facebook. Soon be back on Twitter. 
and um, all the links in the description, or you can email me with the question, or if you have some business in, uh, business inquiries about the channel, video collab, or some business ventures, my email is there as well. Um, continue to check us out, man. We're going to hit y'all with some more heat um, and keep the videos ever flowing, man. I definitely appreciate everybody that continue to hold us down, man. Continue to share the videos on social media and support the channel. We gone.